Hey what's up guys welcome back to Techcraft and uh, here in this video we are going to see how to install official android for your rom on xiaomi mi a1 unlike the previous method here you will be able to directly install android for your to update coming to the prerequisites you need an unlock bootloader you can find the guide for unlocking bootloader in the description below twrp recovery for temporary boot magix for rooting and update engine for installing official ota rooting is must because update engine is in magix module and so magix need to be activated first for the update engine to work and you can find the download links for all the required files in the description so before you start anything you need to make sure that you are on the latest update the last nougat update for xiaomi mi a1 is the december update of size around 500 mb uh, install it you can uh, install it via, via ota update and if you have customized your phone you can directly flash the fastboot rom which is of the size 1.4 gb via mi flash tool once you are done with all these connect a1 to the pc with the provided usb c cable and now go to the settings navigate to about phone and click multiple times on the build number until you get the status as you are now a developer go back now enter the developer options and make sure you have enabled oem unlocking and usb debugging oem unlocking is to unlock the bootloader and usb debugging helps your phone to communicate with pc via adb and fastboot mode now you need to boot to the fastboot mode hold volume down and power button at the same time or you can also try adb reboot bootloader command from the command prompt or windows powershell now go to adb and fastboot file folder on your pc copy the name of the recovery and open command window or windows powershell within that folder you can do that by holding right click plus shift uh, now you have to type uh, fastboot boot name of the recovery dot img now your phone will temporarily boot into the twrp do note that this is only for temporary use if you try to boot into the recovery again you will only get the stock version from the twrp home screen click on reboot the default slot will be a change the slot to b and uh, once you are done with that go back and select install and navigate to the folder where you have uh, placed the magix select it and uh, complete the flashing so once you have successfully flashed the magix now uh, you need to go back to the home screen again click on reboot and change the slot to a again and reboot the system Once the system boot is done, search for the Magix app to make sure that your device is successfully rooted. Safety net is not required, so it doesn't matter if it is there or not. Now you need to install the Update Engine app, which is a Magix module that automatically downloads and installs the official OTA. For that, go back to Magix app again and select modules from the hamburger menu and uh, click on the add button at the bottom and select the update engine zip file so once you've selected this file the magix app automatically installs it and once you reboot it reboot the phone the installation will be done so now open the update engine app provide the app with the required permissions and now you have two options start and stop the start button will obviously start downloading the Vario update and it will also install it automatically the Vario update is of size 1 GB so make sure that you have enough data balance so after the installation succeeded status reboot the phone and now you will be greeted with Android Vario So this is Xiaomi Mi A1 running official Oreo beta update. The launcher is same as Android Nougat so there's nothing special about it. And the software version is Android 0.0 and the security patch level date is of December 1st. Coming to the Oreo features, now you do get this uh, nice little animation whenever you slide the notification bar and now the color of the quick settings is completely white compared to the dark one from Android Nougat. 
The settings panel is also completely redesigned. Now it is more organized with very less menus. We have the network and internet section. The Bluetooth now has been moved to connected devices. In the battery section, now uh, you can enable the battery percentage on status bar, which was actually missing in Android Nougat. The storage manager gets more functionality uh, and now you can effectively delete unwanted files within this system app itself. There is no specific section for gestures. The only gesture that was working is double tap the power button to get to the camera. Just like Android Nougat, there is no double tap to wake either. In the sound settings, now you get an additional option to set the audio effect. I am glad that Xiaomi included this uh, useful feature from MIUI, but sadly, this only works for output via 3.5mm headphone jack and not the USB-C output. The Google Keyboard now has extra emojis and now you can select the Bluetooth audio codec from the developer options. I had no issues setting up and using the fingerprint sensor, but I don't see any improvements over Android Nougat version. Now it takes around 1 to 1.5 seconds to unlock the phone. You can have face unlock from trusted faces but this is slow. It almost takes around 4 or 5 seconds to unlock but you can always root and get a faster face unlock. Now you have notification dots for apps and this works fine with the stock launcher and also with the pixel 2 modded launcher. I am using pixel 2 modded launcher and it has lots of customizations. Now you can enable and disable notification dots, there is also a dark theme and now you can force rounded icons for this launcher. There is also an option to change the icon shape but these shapes work fine mostly for the google apps. The USB dialer is now replaced by the Google phone app and now I don't have any issues regarding the camera app. Previously with the TWRP backup Vario ROM, camera used to take very long to open and even switching to video mode used to take couple of seconds. Coming to the benchmarks, it got a score of 65207 with anti 2 benchmark and with Geekbench single core score is 885 and multi core score is 4332 and it got 59.8 frames per second with Nina Mark 2 benchmark. And I also did a quick fast charging test with two of the charging adapters I have, one of which is Mi A1 stock charger and the other is La Echo charger. A1 charger is a 5V 2A one and the La Echo one is a QC 2.0 charger. I have used Ampere app to test the charging rate and with the stock charger the charging rate was around 1.62 amperes. The main reason why I decided to test the charging rate is because while charging it displays charging rapidly on the lock screen. But sadly when I tested it with the quick charge 2.0 charger the charging rate is still 1.62 amperes. So there is no fast charging and the rapid charging status is definitely a bug. That's it about Android Vario on Mi A1. If you find the video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye and take care.